Hello everybody. In today's video, we will review lesson 4.3, trigonometric functions on the unit circle. And on page 304, we have question number 25. Sketch each angle, then find its reference angle. So 240 degrees, we will sketch the coordinate plane. And the angle is positive. So the initial side of the angle, 240 degrees in counter clock rotation. It will be the terminal side. It will be in the third quadrant. And to find the reference angle, for any angle in the third quadrant that has the terminal side in the third quadrant, the angle it is greater than 180, uh, 180 degrees, so the reference angle it will be the angle minus 180 degrees, which equals to 30 degrees. So the reference, which equals 60, sorry, equals 60 degrees. So the reference angle of 240 degrees, it will be the 60 degrees. 75 degrees in standard position. It's positive, so the initial side and the terminal side, the angle it's between 0 and 90 degrees, so the terminal side, it will be in the first quadrant, so this is 75 degrees, so the reference angle as long the angle it's in the first quadrant, it will be 75 degrees minus 0 degrees, which equals 75 degrees. Let's try more. Find the reference angle, sketch the angle and find the reference angle for negative 3 pi over 4. First of all, let's convert the angle into degrees. So, 180 degrees over pi, and this it will be equals negative 135 degrees. The angle is negative, so this is not in standard position, it's clockwise. Then the initial side of the angle, again, it's negative, so it will be clockwise. 90 degrees, the terminal side, it will be in the second quadrant, yes, and to find the reference angle, it will be pi minus 3 pi, minus 3 pi over 4, which equals 4 pi minus 3 pi, it is pi over 4. Let's try more. 11 pi over 18. So 11 pi over 18. Convert it into degrees first. It will be 180 degrees over pi. Simplify by 18. So equals to 110 and simplify by pi, it will be 110 degrees. Then in standard position, the angle is positive. The initial side, 110 degrees, it's between 90 and 180 degrees. So the terminal side of the angle, it will be in the second quadrant. To find the reference angle in the second quadrant, the angle is less than 180 degrees. 180 represents pi, so it will be pi minus 11 pi over 18. 
8 in pi minus 11, it is equals to 7 pi over 18. So the reference angle is 7 pi over 18. Find the exact values of the five remaining trigonometric functions of theta. It is given cosine theta, and it is very important information here. Sine theta is greater than zero, which means it's positive, and tan theta is greater than zero, which means positive too. We know that cosine theta, it is equals ratio, x over r, where r is the radius, and it is given equals 2 over 5. From this proportion, we can say that x, it is 2, and the r, the radius, it is 5. And to find the y, we know that radius squared equals x squared plus y squared. So from here, y squared equals radius squared minus x squared. So then y squared equals radius squared is 5, squared 25, minus x is 2, 2 squared it is 4. So y squared equals to 21. Then y equals square root on both of the sides, it will be positive or negative square root of 21. Um, it is here, it is given then tan theta, it is positive. And we know that tan theta, it's the ratio between sine theta to cosine theta. Sine is given positive such that the time to be positive, it means the cosine is positive too. So then the sine theta, we will take it from here, we will work with the positive square root of 21 because the tan theta, it is greater than zero and sin theta, it is greater, cosine is still also positive. So it will be y, from here we can say that y, it will be the positive square root of 21. If we know the x, y, and r, then we can find the trigonometric ratios. So then we will go down and write sine theta. It is y over r, and this equals the y is square root 21 over the r is 5. So square root 21 over 5. Cosine theta, it is given 2 to 5. And tan theta, it's the ratio sine to cosine, which means it's y over x and equals y is square root 21 and x it is 2. We can find the reciprocal now for each one of them. The reciprocal of sine is cosecond theta and this is, it will be 5 over square root of 21. The reciprocal of cosine, it is second theta, and it will be 5 over 2. And the reciprocal of tan, it is cotan theta, which it will be 2 over square root 21. Rationalize the denominator. It will be equals 2 square root of 21 over 21. Let's try more. Tan theta is negative 3 over 4, and the sine is positive, and the cosine it is negative. Less than 0, it means negative. So then tan theta, it's the ratio sine theta to cosine theta. It is given sine positive and cosine it is given negative and the ratio negative 3 to 4 and from here we will give the negative, we will give it to cosine because the cosine is negative. So it will be 3 over negative 4 and this equals 
y over x. From here, we can say that x equals negative 4 and y is 3. If we know the x and y, then we can find the radius, which is square root x squared plus y squared and equals square root. x is negative 4 squared, it's 16, plus 3 squared, it is 9. So it will be square root of 25, radius always positive, so it will be radius equals to 5. If we know x, y, and r, then we can find the trigonometric functions. So we can say sine theta, it is y over r, and equals, the y is 3, and the r, the radius, it is 5. Cosine theta equals x over r, x is negative 4, and the radius, it is 5. And tan theta, it is equals, it is given negative 3 over 4. If we know the sine, cosine, and theta, we can find the reciprocal for each one of them. The reciprocal of sine, it's cosecant theta. So it will be 5 over 3. The reciprocal of cosine, it's the second theta, which it will be negative 5 over 4. And the reciprocal of tan, it's the cotan theta, which is negative 4 over 3. Let's try more. Sine theta equals cosine, it is given positive, and cotan, it is given negative. Definitely, because the cotan, it's the reciprocal of the tan. As long as the sine is negative and cosine is the positive, then the cotan, it will be negative too. So we can write sine theta equals y over r and equals radius, it's always positive. So we'll get the negative to 5. So negative 5 over 13. From here, y is negative 5 and the radius is 13. So the relationship between x, y, and r is that the radius squared equals x squared plus y squared. We know the x, the y, and r, so we solve the equation for x. It will be x squared equals radius squared minus y square, so x square equals, radius is 13, and square, it will be 169, minus y is negative 5, negative 5 square, it is 25, and equals 144. So square root on both of the sides, it will be x equals positive negative 12. x stands for sine, we know that Did I do it correct? Yes. The x is for the cosine, sorry. And the cosine, it is given positive. Then from here, we can say that the cosine, we will take as long the cosine is given positive, we will work with x equals to positive 12. So we can put here x equals to 12. If we know the x, y, r, we can find the all trigonometric, six trigonometric functions. So sine theta equals, this is given, negative 5 over 13. Cosine theta, it is x over r. The x is 12, and the r is 13. Tan theta, it's sine to cosine, so it's y to x, and equals, y is negative 5, and x is 12. If we know the sine, cosine, and tangent, we can find the reciprocal for each one of them. And the reciprocal of sine, it's cosecant theta, 
So it will be negative 13 over 5. The reciprocal of cosine is second theta, and it will be 13 over 12. And the reciprocal of tan, it's the cotan theta, so it will be negative 12 over 5. Let's try more. Cotan theta, it is given to over 3. The sine is less than 0, which means it's negative, And the tan, it is positive. Then we know that cotan theta, it's the reciprocal of tan. So it will be equals ratio cosine theta to sine theta. The sine is given negative, and to get cotan positive, it means that the cosine it will be negative too. This is very important information. So cotine it is given positive, and the tan is given positive, and the sine is negative. So to get ratio positive then both of them, numerator, denominator, they have to be negative. So from here we can conclude that cosine theta, it is less than zero. Then cotan theta, as we said, is the reciprocal of tan, so it will be x over y, and this it is given to over three. X stands for cosine, which is negative, and Y stands for sine, which is negative 2. So from here, we can say that X equals negative 2, Y is negative 2, and radius equals square root X squared plus Y squared. So then radius equals X is negative 2 squared, 4, plus Y is negative 2. 3 square, sorry, so it will be 3 square, it is 9. So radius, it will be square root of 13. Then we can write sine theta. It is y over r, and this equals y is negative 3 over square root 13. We can rationalize the denominator, and we have to do it. So it will be equals negative 3 square root 13 over 13. Cosine theta, it is ratio x to r. x is negative 2, so it will be negative 2 over r is square root 13. Rationalize the denominator. It will be equals negative 2 square root of 13 over 13. And tan theta, it is sine to cosine, so it will be y over x. And this equals y is negative 3, x is negative 2. Simplify by negative, it will be 3 over 2. From here, we will find the reciprocal for each one of them. The reciprocal of sine, it's the cosecant theta. We got here a rationalized form, so to get the cosecant, we can just go into here. It's the reciprocal, so it will be negative square root 30 over 3. The reciprocal of cosine, it's second theta, and this equals, we go into here, negative square root 13 over 2. And the reciprocal of tan is cotan theta, which is 2 over 3. Let's try more. 
find the exact value of each expression if undefined right, right undefined. So sine 180 degrees. On the unit circle, 180 degrees corresponds to the point coordinates negative 1, 0. Therefore, sine 180 degrees, it will be equals to 0. Cotan 11 pi over 6. So, first of all, that we can plot correct the terminal side of the angle, let's convert the angle into degrees. 11 pi over 6 times 180 degrees over pi. Simplify by pi, simplify by 6. So it will be equals to 330 degrees. So to plot it, I did this that I can correct plot the terminal side of the angle in the standard position. So 330 degrees, it's between 270 and 360 degrees. So the terminal side, it will be somewhere in the fourth quadrant. So this is the initial side. So the terminal side, it will be in the fourth quadrant. The reference angle. As long as the angle is less than 2 pi, it will be theta prime equals 2 pi minus 11 pi over 6. 6 times 2, 12 minus 11 equals pi over 6. We know that sine pi over 6, it is equals 1 over 2. And the cosine pi over 6, it is square root 3 over 2. So this is the reference angle. In the fourth quadrant, the cosine is positive and the sine is negative. And the cotangent, it's the reciprocal of the tangent. That we can write that cotan 11 pi over 6, it is equals to cosine. 11 pi over 6 to sine 11 pi over 6. And this equals, as we said, in the fourth quadrant, the cosine is positive and the sine is negative. So cosine, it will be square root 3 over 2 over negative 1 over 2. And this equals to negative square root of 3. Second, 450 degrees. So first of all, let's find the quadrant in which uh, the quadrant that contains the terminal side of the angle in standard position. So let's just catch the coordinate plane, the unit circle, and let's see. The initial side, 450, so we have 90 degrees, 180, so we have a full rotation, 360, and 360 plus 90 degrees, it will be the 450 degrees. Then 450 degrees corresponds to the point Zero, 01 coordinates and from here we can say that cosine 450 degrees equals to zero and the sine 450 degrees equals to one then second 450 degrees, this is the reciprocal of cosine. And it will be 1 over cosine 450, it is 0, and this is undefined.
Let's try more. So first of all, let's convert the 19 pi over 6 into degrees. So it will be negative 19 pi over 6 times 180 degrees over pi. Simplify by pi, simplify by 6. It will be equals negative 570 degrees. The angle, it is not in standard position. It's clockwise, not counterclock. So let's try to sketch. Or we can do it. Let's sketch it. Okay. So initial side of the angle. So 570, it will be a completed rotation 360 plus 180 degrees. It will be 540 degrees and here 30 degrees. So this is negative 570 degrees or negative 19 pi over 6. Because the angle is not in standard position, first of all, we have to find the coterminal angle of it. So it will be negative 9 pi over 6, 19 pi over 6 plus 2 pi times 2, and it will be 4 pi, 6 times 4, 24 minus 19, it will be 5 pi over 6. So the coterminal angle, it is 5 pi over 6. The reference angle, The terminal side, it's in the second quadrant, so the angle is less than pi, less than 180 degrees. So to find the reference angle, we'll do pi minus 5 pi over 6. So 6 pi minus 5 pi, it will be pi over 6. And we know that sine pi over 6, it is 1 over 2, and the cosine pi over 6, it is square root 3 over 2. Therefore, we can say, and in the second quadrant, the cosine is negative and the sine, it is positive. Therefore, we can say cosine negative 19 pi over 6 equals the reference angle, it's pi over 6. So the cosine value, it will be the same as pi over 6, but it will be negative. So negative square root 3 over 2. Thank you and good luck.